Hey y'all, Chuck here, the kids, cake, cream, a home. <laughs> Today is another episode of Cooking with Kids after our class today. The kids are learning, they're trying to learn three words a week. So this week is why, what, and when. So I try to get them to learn three words and then uh, next week we do a little game. So anyway, we're doing that. And then I'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen and show you what we're gonna cook. Okay, today we're going to make soft butter pretzels. Uh, pretzels aren't really that popular in Thailand, but they do have an Auntie Anne's uh, in the mall. Have you guys ever eaten? They're not, they're learning how to speak. For those of you just tuning in, these are my students. They're learning to speak English. We have conversational English here, and I try to teach them a few words and try to try to break it up and get them to relax we do a little cooking afterwards so that's what i'm sharing with you have you guys ever eaten at annie ann annie ann i ask them questions but they don't even typical kids right hey hello at the mall by mall anti and annie ann pretzel pretzel Okay, let's get started with the recipe. So at the end of the video, I will put all the ingredients uh, at the end of the video on how to make these awesome, really easy to make. The only difficult part is making the bread, which isn't very difficult, but it takes some time for practice. So here's what we've got. We've got some bread flour, and you can use all-purpose flour, but I choose to use bread flour, sugar, and bit, 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 turn it off. Bilal. So we've got some yeast, some butter, some milk, and some egg, and some baking soda. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is put the yeast. Okay, kids, look. Yeast. 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 Okay, we want to put a tablespoon of yeast. Yeast. One tablespoon of yeast what? inside this milk. Now this milk is warm milk. Uh, you want it to be about just to your, you know, when you put your what? finger in there, it just needs to feel warm. Okay, put it in there and stir it up. Okay, now yeast needs to be kept in the refrigerator because yeast is alive and it does last a lot longer if it's kept inside the refrigerator. Okay, we've melted some butter. This is about a quarter cup of butter. We're gonna take the egg, one egg, one egg. inside the bowl. Okay, I forgot to mention also, inside there is one scoop, one teaspoon or tablespoon of sugar. The sugar has to be in there to help what this is doing is just activating the yeast so that yeast will feed off of the sugar in the warm uh, liquid, which could be water if you don't want to use milk and it'll come alive. So let's mix that inside here. Put the butter inside the bowl. Butter, butter, butter. Nay, nay, nay. Nay. See, they help me too. Nay. Butter. Okay, inside. Butter. Butter. Okay, stir it up. Okay, now cream, I want you to put one little scoop, open that up. That's salt. Salt. Glua. Glua. Okay, a little bit of salt. That's sea salt, which is a little bit stronger than regular salt. So you want to use about a quarter, about a quarter teaspoon. So you can see our yeast is actually starting to bubble up and come alive. Okay, now I want cream to put 
the uh, put the milk and yeast inside the bowl. Get all our yeast in there. Okay, now we're gonna use three and a half cups of flour. Okay, what we want to do is put one in there and stir it up to get it incorporated pretty good. And then we'll slowly start adding the others. Okay, we want to put in three more tablespoons of sugar inside there. We want it to be a little sweet. Dem. Dem. Full is dem. Okay. Okay, now add another one, cream. Okay, now we're going to mix it with a mixer. You can use a stand mixer or you can use it by hand. But uh, the gang's here. But this is going to help get the gluten out of the, uh, out, of the, out of the flour. So once we get it stirred up quite a bit, we're going to slowly start adding the, uh, the last scoop of uh, flour. And depending on the texture of it, we may have to add up to another half a scoop. So we're looking for a consistency in our bread. Uh, it has to have a certain texture to it uh, in order for it to be perfectly soft and delicious. We're gonna put the mixer on low because if we don't, when I add this final scoop, it's going to be winter time in the kitchen. Okay, let's get that all mixed up and I'll show you uh, what it's supposed to feel like and look like. Okay, we didn't have to add any more flour. I think she put three gracious cups of flour in there. But normally with a cup of water, or the cup of milk, the quarter uh, cup of butter and an egg usually requires about three and a half scoops, I mean uh, cups of flour. But we always want to start with, with just three. Uh, you know, if your dough is a little harder, you can always add moisture to it, uh, liquid, water, milk, or whatever. But what we want is a dough that is nice and a little sticky, but doesn't stick to your fingers. So now what we need to do is we need to let this baby rise. So I took some olive oil and I put it on the bottom of the pan and we just want to coat the dough with oil because the worst thing that could happen to this thing is it dries out. And if it dries out, it won't rise. So. I've already prepared some dough this morning. It's in the oven. I put it in the oven because it's in a warm place and we need it to sit for about an hour and a half to two hours uh, to let it rise, depending on how warm it is. But I always put a glass of hot water in here to keep it nice and moist. Uh, you don't have to as long as it's covered up. But this is what it looks like after it's been sitting for um, about an hour. So that's what it's supposed to look like after sitting for about an hour. What do you think, guys? Yay? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put a bag over the top of it and then let it sit. <laughs> now we've got our dough out, we need to separate it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the pretzels. I'm going to show them how to make the pretzel. And then uh, they're going to okay, roll it out like this. Okay, now we're going to take this, roll it around. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This might take a while. 
ให้ใหม่เลยไม่ได้อ่านแบบมันใหญ่อันนี้อันนี้มันน้อยๆมันบริถึงก็จะโง่ It doesn't have to look perfect it just has to be something that the kids have created มันคือมีครีมน่ะน่านะเอ้ยดาเออเห็นไหมต้องครีมทำนะเออคน So while we're waiting on that we're gonna take baking soda Baking soda is very important part of a pretzel. You can't skip the baking soda part. So we're gonna have to heat up some water, and we're gonna have to dissolve uh, the baking soda inside the water. Bring it to a little bit of a boil, and then shut it down. So we're gonna need three-quarter cup of baking soda. And then mix it all up in there until it dissolves into the water. Okay, let that come to a boil. Okay, looking good, guys. Looks good. So why? Okay, our water is hot, just about to boil. This is the most important part of the pretzel. So we're gonna take the pretzel. And dip it inside. I'm a do now. Inside the water. And just let it sit there. We'll get another one. I'll be tom pep nung la kay o. And don't let it sit in there too long. Just maybe for about. I don't know, maybe uh, no more than 30 seconds. And we're gonna take it out and we're gonna set it on our cookie sheet. And then we're gonna get another one. Uh, and we're gonna keep doing this until they all get soaked in there. Okay, we got them all out of our baking soda and water, and now what we're gonna do is we got an egg wash, and we're just going to brush uh, on top of every one of those with the egg. Very good. Okay, perfect. So what the egg wash does is makes it shiny, give it a nice shiny coat. So our next step, okay, hold the camera, is the sea salt. Uh, you can use kosher salt, any kind of salt. Maybe need no But uh, just get a little bit sprinkled on there. Okay. Now what I like to do is take a little bit of sesame seed. Doesn't matter. It just makes it look pretty. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of seed on there. Just take a bunch and just don't, you know, you kids usually aren't shy about making a mess. <laughs> okay, I preheated my oven to 225 degrees Celsius. Uh, we need a very hot oven. It doesn't take very long for it to cook and let's stick them in there. Good. Okay, that's what it looks like out of the oven. We got some more melted butter. We're gonna take the butter and just brush it on top. And that'll make it taste very, very, very delicious. And I put a, in the butter, I put a little bit of this awesome Thai honey uh, inside the butter. This is the most awesome pretzel on the planet. Very soft. Very awesomely delicious. Mm. What do you think, kids? You like it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 Crazy. Mm. Well guys, that is the best super soft pretzel recipe in the entire planet. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the kids had a good time. Did y'all have fun making? Was that fun, Sanukmai? Fun? And I will see you guys uh, on the next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.